In this lesson, we'll be exploring the extrusion tool in more detail. Let's make another extrusion on this face. Notice when I drag my mouse over a solid, SolidWorks gives me some feedback about what it thinks I'll select. So you see here, here's the face symbol, here's the edge symbol, and here we have a vertex symbol. Select the top face. Select Sketch from the standard toolbar. And from the Sketch toolbar, select the Circle tool. From the View toolbar, select Top. First, let's draw a concentric circle to this arc. When I touch the edge of the arc, notice how the arc becomes highlighted and the center of the arc becomes visible. Let's click on the center and draw a circle. Do the same on the other side. We're going to select the edge of the other arc. Now from the center point, we'll drag and draw another circle. Now let's connect the centers of both circles. Select the line tool and from the center of this circle, Draw a line and click to the center of the next circle. Okay, got your pointer back. Now right click and choose Add Relation. Select this line and add a horizontal relation. Select this line and this one, and add a parallel relation. Click Accept. Now let's select the tool Offset Entities. OK, our property manager appears. We're going to enter 10 millimeters in this text field. Select both of the lines. The Select Chain and Bidirectional checkboxes were selected here. And that's how we got our chain selection and our bidirectional selection. Make Base Construction. We can also choose to cap the ends with arcs or lines. In this case, it doesn't matter, so click Accept. Now let's select the Trim tool. Select Trim to Closest and let's trim the ends of these lines. And part of the circle. Let's, let's zoom in a little. Okay, select Trim again and trim the lines, the circle. Continue to zoom to fit and trim again. Okay, select Smart Dimension and let's dimension both of the circles. We'll accept the default value. And now our sketch is fully constrained. We are now ready to extrude. Click the Extrude tool from the Feature Manager. Let's do an, an isometric view. And enter a value of 2 millimeters here. OK, check the Merge Results checkbox and accept the results. OK, let's make a concentric extrusion on the top of this circle. Right click, insert sketch. Let's choose a top view. 
Select the Circle tool. Touch the edge. Now draw a circle from the center here. Now select the Extrude command. Let's enter a value of one millimeter here. Click Accept. And we're going to modify the circle on the right. Instead of a circle, we're going to make a concentric arc. Notice when I click on this surface, Extrude 2 becomes highlighted in the tree. Click on the plus sign to expand. Now on this sketch, right click and edit your sketch. Double click on this dimension to enter a value. Okay, I've entered a value of 10, and I will click Regenerate to take a look at it. As you see here, we've got our concentric arch. Click OK, and exit the sketch. Okay, that concludes this lesson.